Hello, hi, assalamualaikum. This is Mr. B. Um, Alright, this is a new plant which I've just um, added to my collection at home. It's called the Monstera Adansoni. Um, one look, you can see that it's close to the uh, Monstera plant. Um, yep. Which, I mean, the, the other Monstera is quite a big one. Well, the name sounds like a monster, but this is just a, a small one. So you can see my palm here. All right. So, yeah, so it's not really a big plant. Okay. So now, the a bit of background about this plant is that uh, it is found in the, in the, uh, normally at, in the forest at the bottom of the large trees. Okay. So that being said, uh, that means that it needs... Uh, it lives in the, in the in the tropical area, and which is also humid. All right. Now, um, not only that, um, this plant um, is an epiphyte, so that means uh, if I'm not wrong, it just means that the the roots uh, it likes in its water, but it cannot get uh, too soaked up. Okay, if not, you get uh, you know, uh, the roots will start to rot. Okay, so let's take a good look over the plant. Okay. So you can see that there are roots hanging, jutting out. Okay, so that's a clear sign that you could probably, I mean, you could do. Uh, I mean, you could easily propagate the plant using stem cutting. Okay, so just cut below the roots and then just put in some water and it would um, root some more. Alright, uh, not only that, it can also be a creeper. Okay, so um, yeah, so if you give it some enough support and enough base for it to grow, then it could go up higher. Um, now, I'm sure by now the thing that you have seen about this plant is all these leaves which have holes okay so now this is uh, this is an interesting adaptation by the plant um, well let's go back to basics all plants need sunlight um, air and water okay unlike uh, unlike other living things, other living things need food, but for plants, they need sunlight to make the food. Okay, so back to the question about this uh, Monstera adansoni is that um, why does it have holes on its leaves? Okay, this is where I find the magical part about this plant is that it teaches us a bit about um, self sacrifice. Okay, now. Take a look. If for all the leaves to get enough sunlight, um, well, they must be exposed to the sun. Well, however, as I mentioned earlier, this plant is normally found at the base of huge trees where there is uh, probably less sunlight. So they have to find ways to trap as much sunlight for itself. Okay. So if the top leaves are a normal leaf, what do you think will happen to those at the bottom? It would just mean that those at the bottom would get less sunlight. Alright, so, so these holes allow sunlight to pass through and reach the leaves at the bottom. Okay, so cool right? Okay, so yeah, as the sunlight moves, then the the plant as a whole still generally gets enough uh, as much sunlight as, as possible okay so mashallah this is a this is an interesting adaptation by the plant um, yeah to allow itself um, not only as a plant but also allow other leaves to be able to work okay so learning from it um, this is a good example of self-sacrifice Okay, so that others could also thrive. MashaAllah. Okay, that's it from me. Thank you so much.
Assalamualaikum